Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear the possessive child. Happy birthday to Happy birthday, the possessive child. Welcome to this world. My Appa don't don't day. More happy birthday? Yes. You sing it now. Here you go. Happy birth. Happy birthday. Alright, my my wife's asleep. Alexandra. And I need to get some cards from in here. I want to do this because I need to, to film before I go to work, so we're going to be very quiet. Right, these are ours. This, I haven't updated the board yet. I think we made it. Um, so, as I was saying, I can talk a little bit louder now. Uh, and here's here's the wonderful graphic Pablo made. He does this every sing between every single turn. He makes uh, he updates this map, um, which is really quite great. Uh, I could I could play this, and some people do without even having the board set up. I like moving the pieces around myself, but. Uh, I haven't, I, I wasn't up to date anyway. I have to go to work, and I want to take my turn before I, I go to work, So, because a lot of people take their turn during the day. I can't remember if John does or not. Mim Mim, the Hobbit Lord, he's next. Uh, but I'd like to get it done, so I'm doing it now uh, via, via just the internet. Um, I still felt I needed to get these cards, though. Uh, I should turn a light on. So the big action is this past round of turn uh, belongs, interestingly, uh, to the possessive man, Jonathan Bolton. What did other people do? They moved around. Um, Wolf Corbett got his infrastructure, uh, his maritime up to two, so now everyone has maritime two. That's no longer an advantage we have. Um, I don't think we were ever the only ones with maritime two, I don't remember, but we were one of the few, which is how we got to the new world here. That and our um, immunology problem. But what did the possessive man Jonathan Bolton did do? Well, he founded a new town here, Wheaton, uh, on the Wheat space, right next to Notlob. Um, he did that. He also did something that's rather interesting and puts me in a bit of a emotional pickle. Not really a, a strategic pickle, but um, he moved some guys over here and tried to besiege Mound, which is currently unnamed, but we know that it's Mound, right? Um, it turns out he got a rule wrong, uh, and so he wasn't able to besiege round Mound. Or it, was, it wasn't that he got a rule wrong, he just had a, a little bit of um, oversight. He, not oversight, I don't know the word. There's just something he didn't catch. Um, and so he ended up very graciously starving two of his units because he made a mistake. And that's something a lot of the guys have done in this game is when they make a mistake, they just take the hit um, whenever it's a case where they could take a hit. So that and his recent, recent addition of a his new family member 
makes it makes me feel very guilty. It makes um, Little Red feel very bad, actually, the most part. Uh, Giraffe, of course, very much wants to get rid of this cube. Um, Flush actually isn't quite sure he wants to get rid of the cube. Um, Pegasus is like, get rid of this cube. And this is the cube I'm talking about. And Cowboy is not very responsive right now. But it, they, f they feel like pretty much they have to, even though they maybe don't want to get rid of this cube in our population phase. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's, let's talk about what we did, what we were going to do. I really wish I had something to show you other than just this map. Um, I did grab these cards, so here we go. So we have these cards here. I don't even know. I think I ransacked all of these successfully. Um, I just kind of went in there. Some of these cards I already had. I shouldn't actually show my whole hand because some people are watching them. Maybe, of course, they could always go back in the forum and figure out what cards I have, but that might be too much work. Um, so we have some cards here. Do I have that? Yeah, I must. I must. Um, and we did, did a couple ransacks, and now we have to play some cards. I'm going to enter in what I ransacked before I forget. Alright, I'm just going to read this out loud. This is what we've done. Um, we shall ransack both Ceramics Kiln and Goat Herding. Um, Ceramics Kiln was in Minim's discard pile, and Goat Herding, I believe, was in the Possessive Man Man's or USR Local. I can't remember where that was, but I know I saw it somewhere. Um, then we shall play Hafted Thrusting Spear. This is the card that we got. Uh, there we go. This is the card that we got from uh, our ransack last turn uh, as food for sex, and that's what we're doing for the fecundity decrease. Then it's time for goat herding. I don't have the card because I grabbed this one, Swine Herd, instead, um, which I believe is a card that maybe Minin has. Um, I don't think that was in some discard pile. Oh, maybe it was. I don't know. But I didn't grab Go Herding. I grabbed Swine Herding by mistake, but I think they have the same profile. Let's look up here. This is great cinema. Um, yeah, so Dom, that's, I think, the same thing as that symbol. And then Fecundity Decrease, that's that. But what I don't know is what causes the Fecundity Decrease which is a little bit troubling that we're just going to do whatever it takes for the fecundity decrease, but that's the way we're doing it. Um, so we got two fecundity decreases, that's excellent. And then we gotta channel the spirits of our ancestors in order to gauge in pottery. Ceramics kiln! So we gotta get a new elder. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like The crew of the Pabuklan Wren is very busy. Um, so I think I'm going to just draw, well, no, I think it's time to, to merge the two groups. I gotta think about this. Do I just draw for one of these guys to be the new elder? I think so, I think so. I think we're just gonna do that. Let's do a character draw right now, and then we'll see if we rolled well. So what we're, we're doing is we're using this elder. The reason why I'm going through all this is because I had yesterday to kind of talk to everyone and figure out what the turn was gonna be. Um, unless USR Local did something to really mix it up, we kind of had it planned out. Um, and he didn't really, he did some things, but he didn't do anything that would change what we would do. Um, so, they all kind of agreed on this. There we go, we have Pegasus. Pegasus gets to be an elder for the first time, and I think that's very fitting. Our two most senior members of the group are now our two elders, um, which is nice. Uh, she's all for the biofuel. The biofuel is a shot in the dark here. We're getting a 33% chance. If we roll a five or six, um, we have our energy goes up to two, which is very attractive because if that happens, um, mound is safe from desertification, which would be very nice, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, why did I push roll again? I didn't want to do that. I want to push submit. 
This is the, the best the best session ever of this game. You get to watch me use the computer left-handed. Let's see what we got. Oh, a four. We were one off. That's very close. So now I just have to enter in the murder of this cube here. I mean, we pretty much have to do it, right? We do. We feel guilty. A little bit guilty. Flush doesn't feel guilty, but he just wants to do something else. He wants to be able to move. He's used to the population actions being devoted to him. We only have one this turn. Um, only one population action because um, because of all our fecundity decreasage. Um, I think on the bright side, and I'm not sure if I got this right, but I'm pretty sure. Um, on the bright side, I think our, let's see, we're two cubes will move there, one cube will move there. I think that's a three under there, so we sh unless we get attacked, we should have three, or a disease, or something else bad happens, which is very likely. We should have three innovation actions next turn, which would be which would be great. Um, but Flush wants to be able to move, but he understands the 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 purpose of taking the cube. Um, he really doesn't have much of a, an argument against taking it, um, because Giraffe really is in danger. All he needs to do is three population expansions, and then she's in trouble. So we are going to have a population increase there, and that will be the end of our turn. One final card draw for uh, who the the murderer will be, or the killer, or the attacker um, of the possessive man's cube outside the mound. Um, this is going to create a, a, a rather unbalanced situation when our two halves uh, rejoin. Um, you know, some people are going to have more more uh, more representatives on the map than others. Let's see who the lucky someone is. It's Pegasus again. So Pegasus now is represented in three parts. All three of her portions are on the board. Um, two on the map, one in the um, elder bubble. It is the afternoon now, Alexandra, of the same day of the, all the, the fiddling around in the dark to try and take my turn. Um, so I, I wanted to present a little code of what happened afterwards. So um, after everyone was up, I went in the room to kind of start to update the board. I put the Pegasus um, figures out, um, and much to my chagrin, one of them was this rather large horse, which is kind of too big for the map. It, it sort of occupies two nodes at one time, and that can make it um, rather confusing and difficult to, um, to see where exactly pieces are. I could see making a mistake. And so I didn't really think about it too much. Then when I got to work, though, I found that there was no coffee. I am um, a coffee addict, so that that was hard on me um, emotionally. Not too hard. I kind of rolled with it. I figured I could go get some coffee at some point. Um, but I needed something for the moment because I'm an addict, and so it is a need. And so I reached into my bag because I knew I had some, this bag here, I knew I had some chocolate-covered espresso beans in it. And lo, what did I pull out but this tiny horse, which I'd put in there previously, probably because it was too too small to have at a child care uh, for kids. You know, it's a choking hazard, but the perfect size for the board, and it stands up nicely. So, no, it doesn't stand up nicely, but it can lay down nicely. Maybe I could stick it on something. 